Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Elliot's Tale. And we join Elliot just as he is bunking down for the day, rather than the night. So we're going to hit the dollar sign, and we're going to try and attempt to get this man some sleep. Let's see, he is sleeping, he's sleeping and he's recovering. We can see that now his torso, everything is fully recovered. And it looks like he's sleeping a decent way into the night and he wakes up feeling well rested at, well, 1.25 a.m. He's hungry and he's thirsty. Now the cooked meat unfortunately has gone Russian, which is a little unfortunate, so we'll go ahead and just leave that on the ground. Damn, that is a shame, that is a shame. I've just seen we've got a few other bits and pieces in here. I might not have seen, but uh, I don't think we need any of those things. While we are sitting inside here, it sounds like it's still raining. Oh, it's just a drizzle outside, it's not too bad. Let's have some water to drink, first of all. I'm going to probably try and get a slate if we can. We're not going to be able to consume it all, that's okay. Let's instead try and have some, I think, probably curry with meat. There we go, that's okay. Let's see if we can polish it off some chewing candies and then some chewing gum. Fantastic, we'll be feeling pretty good right now. Feeling nice and comfy. It was a decent sleep. I'm happy about that. Now, we're probably going to leave the town today. We're probably going to drive out. Um, in saying this, I need to be prepared to start siphoning fuel, and we're not right now, so I need to grab myself a hose. And the place where you're actually going to find a hose most easily is here, this fridge. Our friendly fridge. So if we go ahead and wield our makeshift crowbar, we're going to go ahead and start smashing this fridge up um, because we want to take it apart. It's going to take a little bit for us to be able to break it into pieces. Quite a bit actually. There we go. Absolutely smashed to pieces. Now I'm going to go back to potentially wielding the MP5 for now. Yes. Just going to be safer I think. Okay, we have a rubber hose. That's what we're here for. So we will take the hose. And we do need something rather large to carry gasoline in. So I'm trying to remember now. I remember some of these basements. They did have some well, some large holding. Well, some large vessels. Some large vessels. So I'm hoping to be able to use some of those. Uh, you know what? That telescoping umbrella. We need to actually give that a... Uh, a thing there we go let's go wield telescope and umbrella there we go nice and easy um so it seems that we can get a little bit wet but not too wet so i'll i'll watch out for that we're going to go ahead and cross the park we're not going to get any f actually we might get some fuel from that vehicle maybe 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 and it looks like we can i'm seeing something down there i don't know what the hell that is i'm seeing something on my mini map Oh, right, there's a dome light on. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. And this is the house, great. The door should be open because we've been in here, yes. There is a basement. Okay, right, this is the one I was kind of hoping for. Now, uh, we've got barrels. <laughs> and the barrels are, like, ridiculously heavy from memory. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, it's gonna be really quite heavy. Yep, super fucking heavy. That's a lot of whiskey. That's a lot of whiskey. <laughs> okay, and there's just a plastic cup. Uh, so, yeah. Not in here. So, perhaps in the kitchen. Just having a quick look. Okay, not here either. All right, looks like we got something. We got a gallon jug of ammonia. So we'll, we'll actually just go hit U and we will unload. Uh, there's actually two of them. So we'll pour it on the ground. We do not want to consume that. Jeez. Okay, and we'll do the same thing because it seems that there were two just hanging out on the kitchen table. Okay, okay. We'll pour it on the ground like so. And uh, we'll take the gallon jug. We'll have to try and store that in our inventory yes we can uh, so I'm guessing yeah there is another gallon jug there uh, unfortunately we can't carry it I think one should be enough one should be okay and uh, I'll see if I can see if I can make this work so we did have a vehicle 
Let's quick, do a quick flash. Okay. We'll come to this vehicle here. Okay, siphon. S for siphon. We can now get this gasoline out of the... Now this is gas, and I'm pretty sure we were using gas in ours, not diesel. Relatively sure. So we want to pour it into a container. We want to pour it into the gallon jug. Okay, and there is some left over, apparently. So did we fill the gallon jug up? I think we might have, actually. How much can the gallon jug... Yep, it can store 3.75 litres, so we've got 3,750 mils in there at the moment. So that's actually pretty awesome. So if I come down here to our vehicle, we should be able to, in turn, fill it up, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, so if we come across to... We need to find where the tanks are. I know they're at the back here somewhere. Here we go. Want to go refill. Boom. Just like that, we're on 6% gasoline. Excellent. This is how we do. So this is uh, late at night. Elliot just sneaking along to the vehicle and siphoning out the fuel. Pour into a container. Gallon jug. Okay, so there's no fuel left in there because it would tell us if there was something left. So we're going to come back down here. And we're going to put it into the car. Start filling it up. Actually, I want to try and split it between the tanks just in case. Okay, 7%. Nice. Because uh, that way, if one tank does go down, we are still going to have some fuel in the other one. That's that's kind of my game plan with that. Alright, so we, we are going to be getting wet. Uh, he's going to be a little bit miserable because of that, but that's okay. Uh, looks like we've got a solar-powered car over there. And I know we've got that school bus, and I'm thinking the school bus is probably, most likely, going to be running on diesel. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was otherwise. So let's head on up there, regardless. We are going to have a look. Is that another... That's a solar power car. Yeah, okay. That is a solar power car. And it's diesel. Okay, alright. And sorry, I just apologize. I've just realized that you haven't been able to see uh, the fuel in the car before. Um, I'm meant to be ducking out the way. <laughs> so I will be doing that. When we come up here, I'll duck out the way. There's 0% gasoline. Actually, am I out the way entirely? I don't even know if I am. I think, I think I've... I think I got just enough out of the way. So 0% gasoline ain't going to help us, unfortunately. But uh, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the last vehicle as well, as far as I'm aware. Um, I think it might be the case. Uh, I'm going to quickly check on the outskirts of town. I'm just going to keep flashing my torch every now and then, because I know we're pretty safe. We've done a, a pretty damn decent job at clearing out the town. Uh, we do have a small little vehicle up here, though. And what the hell is that? What the? What the hell? Were you a survivor? I want to check that. This really quick as well. No, there's nothing there. There's no body. Is there a body here? No, it doesn't look like there is. But there's some ammunition, and I'll gladly take it because it's what we use in our weapon. So, yeah, why not? We'll uh, we'll go ahead and take it. Nice. Okay, first of all, let's have a look and see what we have here. It's a bottle jack. I still can't remember if we have a jack or not. Look at that! 7% gasoline! That is good. So we're going to go ahead and siphon that. We're going to pour in the to the container, and yep, there's still some left over, which I'm, I'm not surprised. I thought there probably would be. So we're just going to try and take a little bit of a shortcut back, and I just saw another car. That's the solar one. Okay. So if we come through here, we should be able to just do this. Turn off the flashlight. Come back here, and we will refill on this side like so. We're now on 10% gasoline, which is awesome. Uh, the, that gas is going to last us a, you know, a good long while. So I'm happy about that. And we still have what seems to be a decent amount more in here. Actually, no, there's zero. There's zero percent gasoline left in there. Okay, so we did, we did clean it out. And I don't think we're going to find any other cars that way. So we're going to, we're going to run back now. And I'm just going to check the other side of town. Running fast like this at night is a little dangerous. Uh, we found another car, 0% gasoline. Which I think I'd actually found that earlier. Um, we do have a, a cash card up here. Pick Dandelion, no. Uh, that's probably why I didn't get it. It's only, it's only a thousand. Oh, hello, you just reanimated. Fuck. Okay, okay, not so great. Uh, I didn't kill these then. Alright, let's, um... 
You know what? Let's let's give the pistol a try. We're gonna have to drop the gallon jug for now. We are wielding the pistol. It's dark, so we have the advantage on the. Uh, it's a, it is actually a tough zombie, so I will try and be careful. I think he does know where we are. Twenty damage. That's not too bad. Back up. I do want to get better with pistols, so I think this is probably a good time to be doing it. 19. We'll just keep on juking him for now. There we go. Not too bad. Let's see what we have over here. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick up those casings. Just realized we're still running, so we will stop. Okay, let's go ahead and wheel the crowbar. He is now pulped. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab our uh, gallon jug. And we'll keep walking. Yeah, see, this makes me nervous now that um, maybe these bodies weren't smashed but I think we we're okay actually looks like these could have been hikers maybe bag of pork sticks it's tempting I don't want to go too far out of town here it looks like there is actually a drink or something down there so I will head down to it could be a beer and that looks like maybe medicine yeah it's beer we will take the beer and this is a pulped human corpse uh, I'm guessing what the hell? It's it's a human corpse. We're gonna butcher it, but it's uh, well rotten, unfortunately. Uh, water purification. Yeah, the yeah they're all pulp corpses. These were hikers, and they've got beer. So uh, we'll we'll take their beer. I have not seen these people yet. You know what? We're actually going to. Um, we're actually going to drink some of that beer. Why not? We're in the rain. Drink some beer. Drink some more beer. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe we drink too much beer. Our intelligence is starting to drop. Oh dear. We will take the last can of beer. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and dispose of those cans, most likely. I have a lot of crap on me, I've just realized. We tend to carry crap around with us. Plastic bags. Plastic bags we don't need. Plas plastic bottle. What is... Why, why am I saying plastic like that? <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Um, yeah, no, we're right. But, uh, that is a soda can stove kit. 500 charges of concentrated alcohol. That's pretty freaking awesome. We could just cook meals anywhere with that then. That's awesome, we will definitely take it. Thank you, hikers. And they didn't turn, they, they were killed by something else here. So there are lots of human corpses. Oh, it's maybe maybe it was the uh, molds that did it because there's two of them. Two of them just chilling out. And no, nothing we want from you. Okay, all right. So we'll leave the hikers to their doom. They're all rotten, unfortunately. Uh, too far gone for Elliot. Uh, but I will check this one up here really quick. No, not for us. Okay, we are starting to feel cold in the um, mouth region, though. So, I'm going to try and get back to the vehicle if we can. Check that really quick. Pack of candy cigarettes. No, we don't want that. No, we don't. We're going to head back down. And, uh, yeah, that dome light that was on, that's our freaking dome light. It's how I find my way back home. Oh, God, it's really coming down now. It's a thunderstorm. Okay, so... The gallon jug I'm going to keep in tools as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because that's where our pot is as well. Um, what else do we want to put in here? Do we want to put the copper pot back in there? Yeah, I kind of almost do. The stove can kit, I wonder if that um, is just a heat source or if it's something for us to cook things with as well. I'm going to have a quick look at it. Okay. No, I think it's probably just a heat source for us, so we obviously still need to have something to cook in. Yeah. 
Um, so we might keep the copper pot on us for now, possibly. Have I chucked that in already? I think I have. I'm going to keep the rubber hose as well. Uh, actually, no, we're not, because we can just get one quickly. And if we are going siphoning, we're going to bring the gallon jug anyway, so. Oh, that rain is loud. It's real loud. Um, we're going to put... Yeah, we do need to have somewhere for empty bottles and the rest, so I think we're just going to put them back into, into here. Plastic bottle. We don't need to be carrying the seeds on us. Cell phone we will keep a hold of. Water purification tablets will be handy. It means we just don't have to boil our food. And I don't know if we need the soap bar on us now as well, so we might as well just chuck it in there. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to put it. Soap bar. Just like so. Alright, let's, um, let's jump in. And look at hitting the road. It's sounding, uh, yeah, I did hear some thunder out there. We did fail to start. Okay, we're going. Let's um, let's have a quick look. We'll see if we can turn on the headlights. Headlight, rather. We can turn it on. And remember vehicle position. Okay, that's handy. Control individual, individual ending. Uh, en engines. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right. So we have a little bit of fuel, which is good. I'm thinking we're going to head out of town kind of this way, head up this road, and then head down down the river and hopefully we can find a forest like this by the river that would kind of be ideal there is a forest up here but it's still a little too swampy for my liking yeah we'll see how we do um okay all right let's start moving forward we're going to zoom out a little bit here just so i can kind of see what's going on we know that car is up here so we're going to do our best to avoid it turn that way a little bit distant rumble of thunder Okay, we're starting to turn. It's a little difficult doing this with just the one headlight, but hey, it's working for now. I think we can step up the speed a little bit. I think we're safe enough to do so. As long as we stick in the center of the road, we should be just fine. And I'm trying to keep an eye out on the minimap as well to see if we see anything pop into our headlights that I don't notice. And we're not hallucinating, so that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. Uh, so it looks like the road is kind of diverging here, but this is what I was kind of looking for. I was looking for this road that goes down. The question is, do I want to go down yet? Or do I want to try and see? I think we're going to see where this road connects first. So we're going to travel along it just for a little bit more. And it looks like there are two bridges here, actually. Which is kind of interesting. Um, something that we do want to watch out for when we're driving along the road is for landmines. And I've just seen to the side here, we have what looks like a military crash. Now, this would be one of those amazing times to have a shovel, and I don't think we do. I don't think we have a shovel, because um, with a shovel, we can... Uh, there we go. Vehicle's fully stopped. I just realized we've got some stuff underneath the seat as well. I just want to see what, exactly what we have there. Okay, that's all of my crap. <laughs> and some drugs. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a real mix of things. We've got the yeah, Flame Pro CBM in there as well. Wow, we got I got quite a bit of crap in there. <laughs> we have a few weapons mods as well. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, yeah, we're gonna... I think for now I'm actually just gonna wield the um, telescoping umbrella. Try and keep myself dry. Yeah, oh well. We still got a little bit extra strength from uh, drinking our beer. Um, so if I jump into the back here, and if we have a look at everything, I'm wanting to try and find a shovel. No. We don't have a shovel. So, instead we will see what we can find. The reason I was wanting to see if I could find, if I could use a shovel, is because we can dig through this rubble. Um, because there can be some really good stuff here. It's almost worth us marking, so I'm going to create a note here and say, no crash site. And, uh, see if I can actually remember how to do the color. I haven't done that before in a, in a little bit. Oh, it's fine. I'll just leave it as it is. Um, and we, we're just going to have a walk around here and just see if there is anything that's uncovered. It's probably just faster if I flash it. Got a giant rattlesnake. <laughs> and it looks like there's nothing around here, which is unfortunate. So, we're going to go ahead and jump back into the vehicle. Close on up behind us. 
and see if we can eat something in here. We might just go for the clam chowders for now. We've opened it, uh, so we're going to have to try and finish it at some point. So I will try and remember that we have it open. All right, gonna keep on heading along the road. It looks like there's an engine just out ahead of us, a motorbike alternator. Okay, and it kind of looks like I can see where. I'm just going to go across here and remove that note because our car is no longer there. So let's go ahead and delete that note. Thank you. Zooming out just a little bit. Yeah, I think we can kind of see where this road is going to go. It is going a little bit into the forest. I just want to see this corner really because I uh, just want to get my uh, idea of the area. And that's fine. So it's starting to go into swamp. So um, we're actually going to turn around. Let's stop. Turn around nice and easy. And start going that way. Now, having a look at this, I think we might go across on this bridge here, the the larger of the two, uh, the one that actually looks like it crosses the water, because um, I think I might like to be on that side of the water. We'll have a look when we get down there. And, uh, oh, what the hell was that? What is that? Oh, it's a just a four-stroke combustion engine. Okay, interesting. Usually bridges I found uh, usually yep littered with cars, and uh, that was a massive bolt of lightning. So we can actually see around us, and we can see over there what looks to be a school bus. Yes, it is a school bus. Um, we're going to have a hard time getting around this. It's going to be a little bit of. Uh, dodgy driving for us. We're going to try and get as close to the side of the bridge as we can. We're going to have to go right up against it, unfortunately. Okay. We can kind of see where we're positioned now. We should just be able to cruise on by, and we did. Very proud of you, Elliot. You're becoming a good driver. Okay. Uh, now, this car we could probably stop and try and siphon fuel from. I'm just going to have to give them a little bit more space. And that looks to be a military vehicle okay let's uh let's stop our truck for now we're going to just wait until it it's fully at a stop which it is we are going to no no we aren't going to do that we're going to stop driving we're going to get out of the vehicle and let's have a look at this it's got zero percent gasoline okay it's got nothing i would show you but i could just tell you it's it's got nothing for us uh all right. I'm tempted to go and take a jack. We'll take the cigarettes. I will take one of those jacks now, just because it'd um, be good to have one. Yeah, this is a jack. Just in case we don't actually have one. I, I'm sure we do, but uh, it's me just forgetting a thousand times that we do. Uh, tool, scissor jack. Two scissor jacks. We've got two scissor jacks on us. <laughs> I guess I'm paranoid about jacks. I never knew that. So we've still got our headlight on, we can kind of see what's going on. 0% diesel, most damage is the heavy duty frame, so it actually works, it's a Humvee, and it's a working Humvee. It's got 0% diesel and 0% battery. Um, but it's kind of working, which is interesting, but I don't know whether or not I would want to... Let's see, I can just examine it, I can't, uh... Yeah, no I can't, there's nothing, there's nothing in it for us, it's a, it's, it's a little bit battered up. Not too bad. That is going to be hard to get past though. I actually know it's on the same kind of line that this is, so we should be okay. Let's turn that flashlight off. Oh, flashlight's off. Okay, it was the thunder that was lighting us up. Okay. And we'll start moving. F oh, actually, that's not the driver's seat. What am I doing? Here we go. Driving forward. That, uh, that thunder has really lit us up. Oh no, it's it's day now. It's six. <laughs> I was thinking, why is it slowly getting brighter? That's why. And we can actually see a lot more what's going on. And unfortunately, looks like we do have more swamp down here. We're probably just going to keep on driving for a little bit further because, uh, yeah, the the swamp is not my jam. It is not my jam. There are there are there's just a plethora of uh, 
of all kinds of things in there that are going to want to kill us. It looks like we've got a lemming, maybe, that's up ahead of us. Yeah, the, sw the swamps are, they, you know, they've got a lot of life, so in terms of getting food, it can be good, but, oh, hello. This is the end of the road, and we actually have a military bunker. Okay. Military bunker means that there aren't turrets here, it means that we just need a military ID card, and I... I think we might have a military ID card. I know we have a lot of science ID cards. I can't remember if we do or we don't. So let's let that come to a stop. And have a look. We have one military ID card. Now, the thing with that is that the military ID card will get us into the base. But once we're inside, we won't actually be able to get into anything. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to remember how to, uh, yeah, okay, we have to climb over the fence. Are we slip and fall? Okay, try again, there we go, that's all good. I'm just going to go into the office here, just see if there's anything, doesn't look like there is. Hello, bat. No, nothing here either. Um, something that I've never seen before is someone turning a military bunker into a base. Do we want to swipe the ID here, or we could use the Electra hack? Ooh. Ooh. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to use the Electra hack. And the reason I'm tempted to use it here is because I know that inside there are turrets. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna come out here, we're gonna park the card differently. I'm just looking at the time and I know we should probably be finishing up now, but we're just gonna push on for a little bit further because uh, I'm interested to find out what's gonna happen. Okay. Fails to start, let's try again. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the vehicle around because we need to be ready to drive away very, very quickly if something bad happens. So I'm just going to put it like that. Okay. So the military base, the military bunker rather, there are turrets inside that can do some very bad things to us. I think we're okay on the outside here. I don't think they're going to shoot us if we try and hack this thing. But I'm going to try and hack it from the side here. So I'm going to go no to that. But I'm going to say yes to the electro hack. You start a short circuit. You start scratching your torso. Ow. Okay. You cause a short circuit. Okay, alright. So we got a little bit of an electric shock. But uh, we, I think we're still okay. Let's have a look at the electro hack and see how it is. 75%. Okay. It is a broken card reader. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, that is... Uh, that sucks. That sucks. Now, the next stage, next thing that we can do is potentially try and use the sledgehammer to smash down the metal door. I don't know whether or not we would be able to or not. Um, but it might be worth trying. I still feel like it's dangerous because the turrets can react pretty damn fast. But I'm hoping if we try and maybe do it from an angle, we might be okay. Might, 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 might. Um, also, that gallon jug, I'm going to take out and I'm just going to drop it on the ground. Gallon jug, gallon jug, like so. And we're also going to grab a funnel at the same time. Because we should be using this rain. The rain is here, we'll make the most of it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab the sledgehammer. We'll wield the sledgehammer. Zero. No. Nope. Must be capital O, maybe. Okay, but we have it, all the same. Alright. Now. I should have just swiped. <laughs> we'll find out very soon whether or not we can get in by doing this or not. It doesn't seem to be damaging the closed middle door, no, so we would probably need an acetylene torch to be able to get through that, and I don't think we have one yet. And I don't think we can get through any of that. Not through any of that armor, at least. We might be able to smash this, and I don't think it'll do anything for us, but um, hey, we're gonna try. Yeah, we don't seem to be damaging it. It is a broken card reader, and I don't think we can do anything to fix it either, unfortunately. So the Electro Hack can work sometimes, but it's not a catch-all. It's not going to work every time. Um, and it's, it's, it's frustrating. This is actually in quite a good position, this uh, little bunker 
I could kind of see it working for like a fortress at the end of the road for Elias. It doesn't mean that we can't take it. I mean, it's close to the river, which is something that I wanted. We'd have access to salt water because of the swamp and wildlife because it's a forest. You know, Shade Hill is up over that way. We still haven't even explored a hell of a lot of Shade Hill. It could be a good place. It could be. Now, where we usually get military IDs is from soldiers, and soldiers, you're going to find them at the military... Not So it's not the bunkers, uh, but it's the military camps. Uh, but those are very well guarded with turrets as well, so they can be just as difficult. Um, we have a road that's going off here into the distance, though, and I think that's probably where we're going to go next. We're not going to go into the town. We're probably going to go there. Yeah. I think that's probably going to be best for us. But um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and smash the car because I'm an idiot. I was meaning to hit. I was meaning to hit drop, but I didn't <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, just because. Uh, let's see if it did actually get anything. It got five units. That's not bad for you know the small amount of time that we had it out there. So let's go ahead and drop the funnel and go ahead and drop this over here. We're going to jump back into the car. And unfortunately our first little foray into the military bunker here didn't go so well. But, it's a pretty damn good position. I like it. I think it's a pretty damn good position. I think we might be able to do something with it. But, it needs work. And we need to be able to get into it. Um, I didn't really ever explain what's in the bunkers. But it's essentially explosives, weapons, ammunition, food. There can be a, a range of things. It can sometimes be a really good find, and sometimes they can be just jackal. That's why it's a bit of a risk to use your cards on a bunker, because you're not just using one to get in. You need to use one on every, well, everything that's down there. But I, th I think you might be able to get away with smashing some of the glass. I don't know what the conditions are to activate the turrets, though. I feel like smashing the glass might activate the turrets. I haven't tried it, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not so sure about that. But um, this is where we're going to be ending today's episode. Elliot, he's all tucked up in his pickup all by himself. No Jared here. Nope, it's just Elliot and the road. And he's seen somewhere that he likes. Somewhere that he's kind of got his eye on. And, um, well, I think... I think next episode we're going to be heading into Shade Hill. And I think we're going to be using probably a decent amount of that ammunition to clear out the dead from that town. Yeah, we'll see how Elliot does, but that's going to be next time. I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until then, stay tuned.